this first retreat is primarily uh, a meditation retreat. So most of you have not been with me on an immersive silent retreat in nature. And so um, it feels really important that we ground the whole training in practice because that's what we're doing and um, that we come together and we sit together and we meditate together and be quiet on the land together and really drink deeply in what this integration, this nature meditation practice is all about. And um, so we'll this the next few days will be primarily in silent retreat mode, which for some of you, maybe hopefully all of you, will be uh, a sweet blessing <laughs> <laughs> to just actually be here, you know, and and really absorb and immerse oneself in that which we will be uh, in, in time to come be sharing more. And um, you know, the basis, the whole basis of the training um, from which your teaching will arise from is both coming from your practice and coming from your relationship with nature. And so this first retreat will be steeping and deepening in that in the silence, in meditation, community, um, in intimacy with, with this land. So, um, so the second retreat, um, we'll, we'll do a deeper dive into um, both the practice and teaching of mindfulness. So, what, how I like to teach these trainings is every time we do a practice, you practice teaching it. So not on this retreat, but all the other retreats. So there's a lot of practice teaching because I think that's the most beneficial thing. It's a very hands-on, experiential. We get reflection. You hear other people doing it, um, and I think that's. I think it's a. It's a. It's a really effective way for giving you the confidence and the practice experience to teach when you when you leave the training. So we'll walk through a lot of the foundational mindfulness practices. We'll practice teaching them. We'll, 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 we'll move into some of the mindful nature practices um, and practice teaching those. And then um, there's, as you can imagine, a whole plethora of issues of, of, uh, um, uh, I call them teaching considerations um, of all the different facets that it takes up to teach, you know, even a day of this practice. There's a lot going on. Um, so I'll begin to explore some of those themes like silence and how you hold the silence, how you talk about it. Um, um, working with some of the, the, the difficulties that come up for people around particularly nature and discomfort or um, fears. Um, there's a lot of logistical issues that come up around time and timekeeping and how would you structure and schedule a day and how long would you, would you lead a meditation for and um, would you do solo time versus group time. And, um, And then there's the logistical, logistical needs around what kind of place would you use and what kind of considerations of place and what physical supports might you need. Um, and there's a lot goes into that. Uh, and, and in the last teacher training, people were quite creative. You know, for example, I uh, had some trainees in, in, in uh, Denmark. And in you know, North Europe, it's rainy a lot. So she went and she um, pre-set up, like say we were sitting here, this was going to be the sitting space. 
she pre-set up the top. She didn't put the top up, but it was all tied to the appropriate trees. And when the rain came, she just sent us some, pulled some kind of lever or something. <laughs> boom, there it was. And everyone's like, wow, we got a, we got a range. So just those kinds of things, you know, what, what to prepare for, you know. Um, so there's a lot of different considerations that, that, uh, that I'll be sharing, partly just from my own experience. The third um, retreat will be exploring um, more the bo bo continuing the mindfulness practices oriented to nature, and also some of the wisdom practices, the insightful practices on impermanence and selflessness and the nature of the mind and death and working with fear. Um, And then um, on, on that, we'll be moving more into um, looking at how you how you talk about nature practice and, and giving talks, and we'll practice giving short talks to each other and how to structure that and what themes to use, etc. Um, we'll talk a little about movement. We'll, so we'll have mindful movement every day. My my particular movement form is qigong, um, which some of you will know and. Some of you may have more of a yoga orientation, or you may have your own movement practice that you that you consider weaving in, or you you bring a colleague or a friend who can do some kind of body-based practice. Um, last week, I had the good fortune of teaching with uh, Jennifer Berazan, who's a beautiful singer. For Earth Day, we had a day out in nature in the woods, and um, we had a portable sound system, and we did chanting, singing, and meditating in nature for Earth Day with 80 people in the woods, and it was very beautiful. And so, you know, it, so the integrating different forms is an important conversation. But also in that third retreat, we'll be uh, having people um, uh, guide a little more bigger groups. So most of, the, most of the practice teaching is in triads, but sometimes we'll break up into a larger group and so you have a bit more practice teaching uh, a bigger field which has its own value and challenges. Um, we'll also look on that third retreat um, some broader issues, ethics, um, looking at diversity and inclusivity and uh, bias um, as part of teaching. Um, since that, since this that third retreat is prior to uh, a practicum, you'll you'll be asked to do a practicum between the third retreat and the fourth retreat. So there's uh, a whole body of teaching around the logistics of that, but also marketing and looking at issues around money, um, managing the energy of a group, dealing with questions. Um, etc. And then the fourth retreat will be partly reviewing your practicum and um, again looking at some broader issues will be, I mean with this it will, it will be woven throughout this course but looking at issues around climate change and how to speak and integrate uh, issues of uh, environmental justice and uh, and just how to hold the both the beauty and the sorrow that people will come with right? as as you hold your own beauty and sorrow of what's happening to the earth um, and then reviewing some maybe some challenges and difficulties that come up with teaching dealing with students that might be uh, presenting challenging uh, issues or <coughs> challenges to you uh, we'll look at some of the, the internal issues that come up with teaching. Again, this we'll, we'll weave this throughout, but the, the inflation or the deflation or the praise and the blame or you know, just what happens when you're in the teacher spot and people love you or not. <laughs> and then we'll also uh, speak to how to speak to the deeper dimension of practice, the 
the mystical, the sacred, the mystery, the silence, the, the non-dual dimension of, of experience and um, how you speak to that or not from your own practice, how you hold that in the group, uh, particularly if someone's experience is outside your, the realm of your experience. And then we'll look at ongoing development, you know, post-graduate, um, what happens after this in terms of next steps and how to continuing deepening your practice and teaching 